Hello all. Welcome to part 49 of Python tutorial. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate the different types of inheritance that are possible in Python. So let's get started. In Python, there are five types of inheritance that are possible. One is single inheritance. Second is multi-level inheritance. Third is hierarchical inheritance. Fourth is multiple inheritance. And finally, we have fifth type of inheritance as hybrid inheritance. Now, let me explain all these five inheritance types that are possible in Python in a detailed manner along with the practical demonstrations. So let's start with the first type of inheritance that is single inheritance. What is single inheritance? Single inheritance means there will be a parent class, say, I'll just name that parent class as A and there is a child class. I'm naming that as B. Okay. Here child class is inheriting the properties of the parent class A. Okay. So this kind of relationship between the classes where a child class is inheriting all the properties of the parent class is known as single inheritance. So let me demonstrate this single inheritance for you. For that, I'll open this PyCharm ID where we have the sample Python file. Here, first I'll create these two classes, guys. Class A and Class B. Okay, very sample classes I'll create. Class A is one class, and here, as a sample, I'll create a variable say A is equal to nine, and one more class I'm going to create, Class B. This is another class, guys. Here I'll say B is equal to ten. Okay, B is equal to ten. Here, I want to make this B as a child class of the class A. So what is the syntax? As explained in the previous session about the inheritance, okay, if you want to make a class, a child class of another class, in the child class that you want to make, beside that, provide circular brackets and provide the name of the parent class, okay? Here, B has become the child class of the parent class A. So in this case, guys, the class B is inheriting the properties of the class A. So A is a parent class and B is a child class. Right, B is a child class, A is a parent class. So if I create an object for the class B, okay, how to create an object for the class B like this. And I'll create an object reference, OBJ is equal to B. And using this object reference, I can access all the properties of the class A and class B because B is a child class of the class A and all the properties of the class A are inherited by the child class class B. So here I'll say OBJ dot A, here I'll say print of obj dot b okay run this code it will print a and b okay a is from parent class b is from child class by creating an object for the child class we are able to access both properties of the parent and child class fine this is single inheritance case now let's go with the second type of inheritance that is possible in python that is multi-level inheritance okay multi-level inheritance what is multi level inheritance let's say there are three classes or four classes whatever you take for example i am taking three classes one of the class name is a the second class name is uh, b third class name is c okay you can have any number of class class b class e okay the the list is endless okay let's say there are three classes here here this class b is a child class of class a so a is a parent of the b and at same time C is inheriting from B. Okay. C is a child class of B. B is a child class of A. This type of inheritance is called as multi-level inheritance. There are multiple levels, right? One first uh, one level, second level. Okay. Like that, if you have more classes here, D is inheriting from C, E is inheriting from D. That is called as multi-level inheritance, guys. You can have any number of classes in this order. Okay. So this is called as multi-level inheritance, and this is possible in Python. So let me show you. Here already we have class A and class B and B is already a child class of the class A. So now I'll say class C, class C is inheriting class B. So B is the parent of C and A is the parent of B, right? C is the child of B, B is the child of A. Now C is equal to some variable, sample variable C is equal to level and create. Here, here, if I create an object for the class C, like this, if I create an object for the class C using the object reference, I can access all the properties of the grandparent and parent classes, okay? By creating an object for the grandchild, 
okay i can access all the properties of the parent and grandparent class okay so you see this one is coming from the grandparent this one is coming from the parent and here this one is coming from the class c itself okay the same class itself print obj dot c okay done so this is multi level inheritance and this is possible in python guys okay you see 9 10 11 so all the properties of the parent and grandparent class okay which are inherited by the class c grandchild class by like creating an object for the uh, grandchild class using the object reference you are able to access all the properties okay of the grandchild its parent and its grandparent okay everything is coming up this is multi level inheritance then we have the next type of inheritance that is hierarchical inheritance okay hierarchical okay hierarchical inheritance so what is this hierarchical inheritance here in hierarchical inheritance okay two child classes have the same parent class for example here there is a one class say a okay and uh, to this class okay this class is a parent of not only one child but multiple children okay this parent class a is a parent of multiple children like this this class is also inheriting from a and this class is also inheriting from a okay let's say the name of this class is b the class b is inheriting from a at same time the class c is also inheriting from a same class same parent class but two children okay this is called as hierarchical this is also possible in okay this is also possible in python guys okay hierarchical inheritance is possible in python so here class a class b so what i will do is here instead of this class c inheriting from b i'll make it as a guys okay so here b and c classes have the same parent class right here class b and class c both have the same parent class both have the same parent class and this is possible in python so i am making this class b and c as a children of the class a same class a that is called as hierarchical now let's go with the next one that is uh, uh, the next one is multiple okay multiple inheritance multiple inheritance what is this multiple inheritance in multiple inheritance okay it's an opposite of the hierarchical where here there will be multiple parents okay a single class a single child class has two parents like this okay okay the single class have multiple parents multiple parents so here b is a parent and c is a parent okay these are the parent classes and d is a child class okay of these two parent class here two children are having a single parent here a single child is having two parents okay that's the difference okay so this is called as multiple this is also possible in this is also possible in python how this is possible let me show you so here let's say let's make a and b separate okay there are two classes and the child class c okay a, a uh, let's let's make the c as a child class of both the parents a and b so you have to give a comma b here guys okay that as per the syntax in python if you make if you want to make this class c as a child of both this a and b c of a comma b okay here a and b are the parent classes of the c child class c okay or here if i put d in this example guys b c d is there right so b c d for example this is b this is c and uh, if i say b comma c okay if i want to depict the same diagram here i am just changing the code so b class b class c and uh, class d okay class d here the child class d have two parents as b and c this is called as multiple inheritance which is possible in python okay this is possible in python guys no problem now the final type okay the final type guys that is hybrid hybrid is nothing but the combination of hierarchical and multiple okay what is hybrid guys hybrid type of inheritance is a combination of multiple plus 
okay it's a combination of hierarchical and multiple okay so hybrid is a combination of hierarchical plus multiple okay multiple it is a hybrid of the combination of hierarchical and multiple so how does i represent this to represent this guys i have to cut this part here okay and uh, here a b c is there and here at the end is the thing okay as i said hybrid is a combination of hierarchical and multiple so here we have d so here d is the child of these two parents b and c and these two parents b and c are the child of the same parent a so this kind of structure if you get that is called as hybrid guys it is a combination of the top portion is hierarchical and uh, the bottom portion is a multiple right combination of hierarchical and multiple is known as hybrid case okay this is also possible in python for example so let me uh, if i explain this hybrid right automatically i have explained the hierarchical and multiple okay because hybrid is a combination of hierarchical and multiple right let me demonstrate this hybrid so that automatically the hierarchical and multiple already got kind of okay are inbuilt in this right so if i explain this automatically hierarchical and multiple are demonstrated okay so let's go with the hybrid demonstration here first i need to create a class a let me create class a guys class a a is equal to some pipe class b b is equal to 6 i'll create four classes guys class c first i am creating a normal classes c is equal to 7 class d d is equal to some 8 okay some sample property i'm creating under that now guys what i want to do is you see this diagram i want to make okay this b and c as the children of the a here b need to be the child of b need to be the child of a like this at the same time c also should be the child of the a c also should be the child of a here b and c are the children of the class a and d is a child of both b and c d is a child of both b and c that means d of b comma c i have to provide okay d is a child of both the parent classes b and c now if i create an object for the class d let's say d i can access all the properties of okay of a b c right simple all the properties of a b c and d can be accessed using this object reference in this hybrid in this hybrid inheritance type okay if you create classes according to the hybrid inheritance type and if i try to create the object for the last bottom class here using that object reference of the bottom class i can access all the properties of a b c d guys so let me show you here i'll say print of obj dot a okay print of obj dot b print of obj dot C C is come C property is coming from class C because it is inherited. All these things are inherited by D now, right? In this hybrid. OBJ dot D. Run this code. All the things will be printed. 5, 6, 7, 8 will be printed. Okay. A, B, C, D got printed in the output. So this is called as hybrid in inheritance, guys, which is a combination of hierarchical and multiple inheritance. Okay. So these are the five different types of inheritance we have in Python. One is single, second is multi-level, third is hierarchical fourth one is multiple and fifth one is hybrid which is a combination of hierarchical and multiple so that's all about the different types of inheritance that is the five types of inheritance we have in python thank you bye